Hello, welcome to English for Everyone, where we practice real life American English. Today we're going to learn about blah and blah blah blah. So let's get started. You can say blah one time, or you can say blah three times, or maybe four times, but they mean different things. If I say blah one time, that's an adjective, and it means something that's not special, boring, or bored. It can describe a person or a thing. If I describe a person, I can say, she was feeling kind of blah that day, so she went home early. It means she didn't have any energy. She was bored. She was feeling kind of blah. Let's practice. Was she feeling kind of blah? Did she go home early? That's right. She was feeling kind of blah that day, so she went home early. She was bored with no energy. She was feeling kind of blah. And I can describe a thing. If a thing is boring, not interesting, you can say it's blah. Example, she went to a restaurant, but the food wasn't special, interesting. It was kind of boring. So I can say the food was just blah. Let's practice. She went to a restaurant. What did she think of the food? Was the food just blah? That's right. She went to a restaurant, but the food was just blah. And I can say blah, blah, blah. If you say it three times, four times, or even five times, it all means the same thing. If you're saying blah, blah, blah in place of words that are boring, words that are not meaningful to you, you can say blah, blah, blah. Three is the standard, but sometimes people say it more times. Blah, 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 blah. Substituting uninteresting words. Words that are not meaningful to you. Let's hear some examples of blah and blah, blah, blah. I've just had too many blah relationships. Life has no point. It's over. You're basically dead. Blah, 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 blah. And you think maybe I have the answer. Blah, 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 blah. You probably think that black people yeah, cannot... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Black people, white people, blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, blah, blah. The walls are closing in. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, 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 blah. Example, her parents were talking to her, telling her that she needed to clean her room and study hard, study more. And she was explaining to her friend later, so she said, Oh, my parents told me to clean my room and study more, blah, blah, blah. She's substituting their words because they weren't interesting to her. They weren't meaningful to her. They were boring. So she said, My parents told me to clean my room, study more, blah, blah, blah. Let's practice. What did her parents tell her? That's right. Her parents told her to clean her room, study more, blah, blah, blah. So remember, one blah is an adjective. It can mean bored or boring, not special, not interesting. But three blahs or more? That's in place of words that are not interesting, words that are boring, words that are not meaningful to you, blah, blah, blah. Thank you for watching, and if you like this video, subscribe to our channel. And if you want to become a member, click the join button. And we'll see you next time.